The way I write is this. I write about a thousand words a day, a little bit more. Uh, the next morning, I read those thousand words and cursorily edit that. Then I write the next thousand. I do that all the way to the end of the book, and then I reread the book quite a few times, editing as I go through. Because, you know, you, 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 your, your book grows. The, the early part of your gr book is growing still while you're writing the later part of your book. And so uh, all that possibility, you don't want to do all your editing up front because all the possibility goes through to the end of the book. I think of writers... Uh, as explorers, not necessarily detectives, though there's certainly detecting that's going on. There, there are explorers. I, I recently wrote a short story in which a man with no family asked a man uh, with a family, uh, what's it like having a family? And, and this guy has a, yeah, you know, it's hard. He has four kids. Three of them are in trouble. He has a wife who had had an affair with his best friend uh, while he was out having an affair with somebody else. Uh, he's had a hard life, and, and, and at the, but, but he said, if, if, if my family was perfect, if my kids were perfect, they wouldn't need me. You know, if everything was perfect, I wouldn't have anything to do. And he said, you know, life is a bitch, but what's a boy dog going to do without his bitch? When I wrote that, I understood something that I didn't know before. It's like I had gone into a new space, and I discovered something about the possibilities, and, and, actually the, the, uh, the prerequisites of, of life and family, something I didn't understand before I wrote it. And so and in that way, I think that we're with each new character, we're exploring the possibilities for uh, humanity. Mm -hmm.